Hi everyone, my name is Katie Moore and I am currently a data and analytics consultant. Today I'm going to be teaching you how you can use PyCaret, a low-code machine learning library in Python, in order to build an anomaly detector in Microsoft Power BI. The ability to run Python scripts in your data sets in Microsoft Power BI can help you add layers of machine learning to your Power BI reports and dashboards with the ultimate goal of enabling you to get insights from your data in a more effective and efficient way. So for today's presentation, I'll start off by going over what anomaly detection is and some potential use cases for it across various industries. Then I'll give you an introduction to PyCaret and what it can be used for within Microsoft Power BI. Then I'll show you how you can set up your Microsoft Power BI environment to start running Python scripts in your, on your data in just three easy steps. And then finally, I'll give a quick demonstration of how to train and implement an unsupervised anomaly detector in Power BI. So what is anomaly detection? Anomaly detection is a step in data mining that identifies data points, events, and observations that deviate from a data set's normal behavior. Anomalous data can indicate critical incidents such as a technical glitch or machine going down. Machine learning is progressively being used to automate anomaly detection. So where would anomaly detection be useful? Anomaly detection can be used across different industries for a number of reasons. It can be used in the oil and gas industry, for example. You could train a model on the normal operating conditions of a compressor machine in order to be able to identify when a unit starts operating outside of its normal conditions and needs maintenance. Anomaly detection can be used in the financial industry to identify credit card fraud. So you could create a model that identifies when the spending on a credit card falls outside of normal behavior, likely due to fraud. Next, anomaly detection can be used in the in entertainment industry. By being able to analyze the normal behavior of non-fraudulent gambling transactions, we can train a model to identify when behaviors deviate from the norm, likely due to fraud. Finally, anomaly detection can be used in the cybersecurity industry. You could train a model on the normal network operating conditions and then identify anomalies that range from excessive logins to spike in traffic between two points to understand when unexpected behavior is occurring. So what is PyCaret? PyCaret is a low code machine learning library in Python that is simple and easy to learn. It can be integrated with Microsoft Power BI to empower business analysts, domain experts, and citizen data scientists to add a layer of machine learning to their Power BI reports and dashboards. PyCaret has a number of functions that are exclusively built to work within Microsoft Power BI. You can use PyCaret in order to build models to either cluster your data, build an anomaly detector, analyze text data, text data using natural language processing, predict categorical class labels, using classification, or predict continuous values using regression. So how do you start using PyCaret within Microsoft Power BI? Well, there are just a few simple setup steps. First, you'll want to create an Anaconda environment. In order to do this, you'll open the Anaconda prompt from your start menu and then execute the following code. Conda create dash dash name, and then enter the name that you'd like to use for your environment and then Python and the Python version. From there, you'll want to install PyCaret by executing the following code that's pictured on the screen in Anaconda prompt. You'll write pip install PyCaret. After PyCaret is successfully installed, your next step is to open up Power BI desktop and then set the home directory for the Python environment you just set up by going to file, then you'll go to options, then global, underneath the global section, you'll go to Python scripting, and from there you can set the Python home directory to the, Py to the Anaconda environment you just set up. So now that we're all set up, I'm going to give a quick demonstration 
of how to actually train an anomaly detector within Power BI. So for the purposes of today's demonstration, we'll use the following scenario. Say that I am working in the oil and gas industry and I want to monitor a number of compressor machines and I have a data set that has time series data on various tags that are attached to these machines. So the data set that we'll be using, we have the information that's pictured on the screen, we have the date time, and then other various values that we'll use to train our anomaly detector. So for example, we have the current, the pressure, and the temperature that are associated with this machine. So in order to get started building out our anomaly detector, our first step would be to go ahead and get our data into Power BI Desktop. In order to do that, since we are using an Excel workbook, we are just going to load the data in using the Excel workbook connector in Power BI Desktop. So we would just go to Get Data and then Excel workbook. From there, we would simply select the sheet that has our data and load it into Microsoft Power BI. Next, we are ready to train the anomaly detection model. In order to do this, we will execute a Python script in Power Query Editor. So we'll launch Power Query Editor, which is Microsoft's tool for transforming data within Microsoft Power BI. And then from there, there is a button to run a Python script. And we'll go ahead and enter the Python script that will build an anomaly detector. So for this demonstration, I'm just going to use a simple script that's pictured on the screen. So from pycaret.anomaly import star dataset equals get outliers dataset. It's as simple as that to go ahead and transform your data and identify anomaly. Note that by default, PyCaret trains a Cade nearest neighbors anomaly detector with 5% fraction. However, you can change both the fraction value and the model type using the fraction parameter and model parameter respectively. So for example, if we wanted to use an isolation force model with a 0.1 fraction, we could modify our code as it is pictured on the screen. Once you have run your Python script, you'll see that you get these results within Power Query Editor. You'll see the name and the values col columns. From there, you'll go ahead and expand the table columns, and you'll see this final output on the right within Power Query Editor. You can see that two columns were added to our initial data set. The first is the anomaly column, which is a label that identifies whether or not that an anomaly occurred. So a zero indicates an inlier and a one indicates an outlier. And then the second column that is added is the anomaly score, which simply indicates the value of whether or not an anomaly occurred. So a higher value indicates anomalous behavior and a lower value indicates behavior that is more or less normal. From there, you can go ahead and build up your visualizations to display your data. So for example, with the data set that we were using for this demonstration, I went ahead and built up this report that shows me the anomalous behavior over time. I can see a count of the total number of anomalies that occurred on a certain day. I can also see when anomalies occurred in this line series graph as it's indicated by the red dots on the graph. Overall, this enables me to get insights from my data and really leverage machine learning in order to automate anomaly detection. So with all that being said, thank you for listening to my presentation. Throughout this presentation, I used two information from two different sources. The first is from Moez Ali, who is actually the founder of PyCaret and wrote a great article about building an anomaly detector in Power BI. And then the second source is the data set that I use in order to build up the sample dashboard. Thanks so much for listening and have fun building up your anomaly detectors in Power BI.